Last time we talked about how you might talk to fanboys. We aren't going into why they act the way they do. That is for a different series. Today's message is very different. Video games these days are everywhere. They are on our cell phones. They are on our tablets. They are in our televisions. And of course there are game consoles and computers. So there are a lot of different platforms. Some cater to hardcore gamers and others cater to casual gamers. Here's the problem. Because of that, we often drive a wedge between ourselves. We divide into different camps. The hardcore camp and the casual camp. The hardcore camp regards the casual camp with disdain and too often outright hatred. The same goes for what platform someone plays games on. If you aren't on the right platform, then you aren't a true gamer and are a worthless piece of garbage. That's a gross generalization, but I think you get the point. Let's stop fighting over which platform is better, or who is the more true gamer because of what they choose to play. Stop being so butthurt when someone chooses to play games on a platform that isn't your personal choice. At the end of the day, if you play games, you are a gamer, regardless of how many hours you spend playing them. If you love games, then why is your happiness dependent on others having the exact same preferences? Yes, it is nice to meet people who have the same taste in games. But why must you demonize those with different tastes? Why do you lose sleep when someone prefers to play Candy Crush over Call of Duty? Or if you prefer Xbox, why must everyone else be the enemy? Wouldn't it be better if we simply shared the enjoyment games of all kinds bring us? It's not like it is a finite resource that can run out. So why treat it that way? Now I totally get it if you are afraid game companies will cater more towards a different kind of gamer if those kinds of games sell better. Given how AAA game studios work, that's a legitimate concern. If that is your focus, then that is all you are going to see. Rather, why not make something more positive your focus, and I think you will be very surprised by what you get. Stop treating casual gamers like they're the enemy, and simply embrace them as fellow gamers. We play games for enjoyment, why drag negativity into it all the time? If we can drop these barriers between us, we'll be one more step closer to unifying the gaming community. I hope today's message helps. The next two episodes will focus on why unifying the gaming community will benefit us. Until then, I've been the Professor, and I'll see you next week.